What's going on, y'all? Excuse the do rag. I just kind of got up and I ain't really started my day yet, but I just wanted to get on and tell y'all something. Something that I have to remind myself from time to time. And uh, even though I'm the one that's lived it, it's still important for me to to remind myself or to remember this this thing that I'm about to tell y'all. And um, what's up, sugar? You want Starbucks? Okay. Let me give me a minute. I'm trying to record a video. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take you. Give me a couple minutes, and we're going straight to get you something. Okay. All right. Go back in now, so I can do the video. Okay. Go. Go now. You messing my train of thought up. Go. <laughs> go, girl. I'll be done in a minute. Now, go. Go, baby. What? Kayla, I'm trying to do something. Now, go. <laughs> and you're back to what I was saying. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but <laughs> that little girl though. But uh yeah, like I was saying, um something I have to remind myself of is that everything that's worthwhile, everything that's worth having, everything that's like significant that'll change your life, that'll make the life of you and your kids and your your your, uh, your significant other, your family tree, anything that will impact that and your family in a, a major way, will usually take time to accomplish. And especially with you know the the new year here, it's important for us to remember that because a lot of us are gonna have our our New Year's resolutions and. It's scientifically proven that people don't usually stick to their New Year's resolutions, but you still have to have, and, and the reason why people don't stick to it is because of this. They don't see results real quick, like, like they want microwave results, and because they don't see those results, they quit. But I just want to remember, I just want to remind you, anything worthwhile takes time. In my life, I've accomplished a lot of things. The, the the best things, the things that mean the most to me, happen over the course of time. 2021, although it was terrible, with, you know, what was going on as far as health-wise with, with people all around the world, it was the, one of the best years of my life. And I know that all of the years coming forward are going to be better because of the work that I've been putting in that started a long time ago. The relationship that I have with my wife, it wasn't a microwave relationship. This this is a it's this is years, almost a decade of us getting to know each other, of us having friendships and, you know, fallouts and, you know, getting back together and, you know, getting to a point where it's like, okay, we're committed We've learned all of each other's quirks and we've learned what drives each of, you know, each one another. And, you know, we we have mutual respect and honor for the things that make us different. The things that used to used to stir up, stir each other up. We made peace with it. So now we have a strong relationship. My channel, I started this channel in June I think June or July of 2019, I made videos for almost two years without hardly anybody watching them. But I just kept pushing. In the beginning of 2021, I think by, by the time February hit, I only had like 50,000 views total across all of my videos. And I had... I don't know how many videos I had, but I had a lot of videos on YouTube and I only had total 50,000 views. I just got like my yearly report from uh, YouTube. I had 2.2, over 2.2 million views this year. I would have never got to the 2.2 if I would have stopped because I wasn't happy with the 50,000. 
I was just doing what I felt was in my heart. I was passionate about this. I'm still passionate about it. I'm even more passionate about it because this is my purpose. I'm never going to stop doing some doing this, what I do in some capacity. And I was willing to put in the work over a long period of time to get to the point where I had a big audience listening to my messages. If I would have stopped back then, I would have never got to where I'm at. I would have never helped as many people as I've helped. Uh, all kinds of things that happen in my life. People look at me and they say, oh, um, you're so wise and you think different from most people and stuff like that. This is not something that I just woke up and, and was thinking like this. I was as, as ignorant and stupid as the average man that you come across. I didn't know myself. I didn't know what I wanted out of life. I was insecure. I had low self-worth. I had I didn't value myself. I didn't, you know, I didn't love myself the way I should have. But I learned how to, to do all of those things. That's what drives me today. I learned what was important to me over a long period of time. I used to love the toxic stuff just like everybody else. I'm telling you, the person that I am now. Is, com is night and day different from the person I was 10 years, maybe even 5 years ago I learned what was important in, in life I see a lot of people get hung up on the little small details that don't even really matter and it affect their life in such a major way they never get up when they get knocked down they, get, they, they just become used to being in self pity mode they never think that they can do better than what they are currently doing. Everybody is no good. You know, they've been through some bad relationships with, you know, some, because, you know, there's bad people out there. Because they've been in those bad relationships, now they believe that there is no good people out there. I'm tell you like this. There's plenty of good people out here. The problem is you don't see them. I thought about this this morning. It's like, just imagine this. You go and look in the refrigerator, right? You're looking for something good to eat. Well, let's say you just want something to eat. So you go and look in the refrigerator, and you don't see nothing. Your mama going, you go back in there, and mine ain't nothing to eat. You, you, your mama say you ain't looking there's something in there I just put it in there you, you go look in the refrigerator still ain't nothing you can't find nothing you like whatever so you go back to your mama my mama I don't know what you talking about it ain't nothing in there so then your mama get up and she go in there and get a, a low fat yogurt something that's good for her something that's healthy something that's gonna help her keep the pounds off help her keep the carbs down and she come and sit down and she get a, a spoon and, and she sit down and eat that, that uh, cup of yogurt and with a smile on her face. Two different people looking in the same refrigerator. One seeing something that's good, something that's healthy for you, and the other don't see nothing. That's what happens when you're programmed to look for toxic people, when you like toxic people that's not healthy for you. You sitting around looking at the world and all you see is what you're used to. All you see is what you're what you like. You like the pretty boy, the playboy, the thug. You like the dude that that know how to make you feel good in the bed, but outside of that you don't feel good at all when you're around him. So that's all you see in this world. But I guarantee you if you broaden your vision, if you learn to look for something that's more healthy, you will see it out there. The reason why I see so many good people in this world is because I don't pay attention to the bad people in this world. Of course, yeah, I'm on guard and I got my eyes open and all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm, I'm aware, you know, that's one of those things that come from the streets. I'm aware of everything, but I don't focus on people that ain't no good for me. You develop these type of skills over time. So if there's anything that you want to do this year, understand 
you're not going to get microwave results from it. If it's something that's going to be really impactful in your life and the lives of your family members, stuff like that don't just pop overnight. And, and, you know, it may be some one offs where people just they just they preparation and an opportunity met and it's like, boom, it took off. But most people ain't ready for what they're asking for. So it's going to take you some time to get there. I just want y'all to remember that. But I'm going to go ahead and get myself together. I got some things I need to do. And I just wanted to jump on real quick and talk to y'all about that this morning. Hopefully y'all had a good New Year's. Everybody was safe. You know, everybody is walking into this New Year healthy and happy. And I hope that everybody has big goals on their on they list. And they work hard every day to get done and be comfortable with the journey. That's the other part of advice I got for you. Be comfortable with the journey. Don't be, don't focus on the results fully. That's a little bit of it. You, of course, you want to have good results, but the most, the, the major, the major thing that you need to focus on is the journey. Focus on doing the work. Focus on being present in what you have to do right now. What's the very next step you got to do? Focus on that step until you get it down and then move to the next step. And that's all I got to say about that. I'll see y'all on the next one.